Welcome to Casa Gorordo. It has already reopened to the public. Pasukin natin ngayon ang isa sa pinakalumang bahay sa probinsya ng Cebu, Casa Gorordo built during the 1800, no? Pasukin natin ang very historical landmark here in my beloved island of Cebu. Good morning and good day mga kalakotsera. This is a, a very historical journey today. Preempting gabi sa kabilin because I am here right now in Casa Gorodo, an 1870th century house owned by the very first bishop in Cebu City, Bishop Gorodo. It has reopened recently to the public. When you come inside this house, you will really have a feel how illustrious the Cebuanos were way back in the 1800. I advise all the students, Cebuano students, tourists, local or foreign, to visit Casa Gorordo to enrich your knowledge, knowledge about history of Cebu, proving to all that even during the 1800, Cebu was a flourishing, vibrant, society, community, island, and also the people were educated, hardworking, resilient at the same time. They have a pride of their own. That's why they call them a proud Cebuano. Thank you very much and welcome to Casa Goror. Thank you. Yes, good morning, Mahakala Kotsera. Today is a very emotional and exclusive vlog for me because this was my thesis at the same time. This was my presentation before graduating on my BS Tourism. Mauni ang ako, ano, presentation on my thesis. Casa Gorordo, way back in early 1986, uh, uh, George Ilagan Career Center. And this is my guide for today, John. Hello. Okay, John, go ahead, John. Welcome to all. Uh, this is Casa Gordo Museum. As you can see, this is a balai where it was built in the 1860s by, Gorordo, by the Gorordo family, but first was actually Arenas who built this. So I'll show you around, show you what is new in the new Casa okay. Gordo Museum. This is, why do you call this, John, as a new Casa Gorordo? Uh, new because we actually had enhancements. Ah, uh, enhancement. Yeah, there's a lot of changes oh, oh. here, as you can see. Just like this one, wala man siya before, no? Oh, what are these collect? Ang sanin siya nga mga images? These are called the pasos. Um, this is a segunda caída pasos. Pasos? Yes, pasos. They're uh, like sculptures from as, ivory. Okay. Then, made from ivory. Yes. Made from I-off kam na ko na ko i-comment ka sa ano. Okay, okay. Hindi kayo go. What else? And this is the San Juan de Bautista. Uh, of Parian. This is our patron ah, saint. Oh, patron saint. San Juan de Bautista. Oh, oh, sa Parian. Yes. This one, okay. What else, John? And How about this one? These are actually just the samples that we have here. This is San Nicolas de Tolentino. San Nicolas de different, uh, ano, mga saints, the eye. Yes. Oh, say, sige, kono, eh, San, Vic ah, sige, San Vicente Fer. I think the religious, these are religious icons, no? Yes. Through images nga makita nato dito sa, ano, Sa, sa Casa Gorordo. Do you know why? Because the very first bishop of Cebu was Bishop Gorordo. Am I right, John? Ah, uh, sige. Okay, let's proceed. And this is actually the standard here in Casa Gorordo. Even uh -oh. the, before the enhancement, we also have this. Yeah, so, oh. Uh, yeah, katong mo. Ano mo rin siya guide, no? Tos, tos lokon, tapos mo change ang images. Yeah. But better, mas, mas maayo ng without this para we will explore it with, by ourselves. Yeah. And this one, katong mo grind the mga palay. Yeah. This no? is the corn and millet oh. grinder. Oh, grinder. You to mga grinder way back mga uh, ano Spanish era, no? That's correct. Na siya. Then mga gamit jan. Go ahead, Jan. Dito. One of the agricultural apparatuses here oh. as well because the Gorda family was known to be a farmer family. Yes. And proving to all that during Spanish era, the Cebuanos were already uh, independent and productive people. They, do, they just don't rely on feeding from whatever colonizer. They themselves, especially the Cebuanos, Cebu was an agricultural island, even back then. Okay? Thank you, thank you, John. Oh. Oh. Okay, John. This one over here is the transport scene. 
Oo. Oh, oh. Si oh, Carabao. Oo, oh, oh, unang gigamit. Jan curious ko ani Jan, what is this? Uh, this is a baka. Ay, oh, mau gihapon oh, produkto gihapon. Mura siya depiction lang. How oh, mau mau man din kasagorodo kasi ang kasagorodo is a depiction of what was life is all about way back, no? I think that's that's oh, that's the essence behind kasagorodo. Yes, Oo. Oh, oh. O, oh, kanin mga transport ni siya dyan? Oo, oh, ni siya ang diorama sa so, na karon. Diorama? Yeah, Oo. Oh, oh. Okay. So, Different kind of transport, no? Correct, yes. That's beautiful. And uh, this is the train in Singapore? Oh, oh. Yes, we have we have trains before. Yeah, we Para have. sa mga sugar mill. Yes. O, oh, especially uh, sa north. 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 north or biyahe yeah. sad kan, I think, na pati mga biyahe din eh. Na, na, na man ka ni tra railways dere yeah, sa um, Cebu it's actually located in Natalio Bacalso that's true that's true railways so oh. okay mga autobus okay this is ang one one significant thing that we should we cannot ignore ang mga warnings ug ang mga post ni ha look at this post mga kalakwat sir mao pa magyo din siya diyan ang mga yes. Post na preserve. Remember nga kaning Casa Gorodo was, I think, 1800 or 1700. Kanos ani siya dyan, ang Casa Gorodo? 1860s. And na preserve good with the help and the passion of the abuetis na ma-preserve good nila ang properties. Kay, if without it, how can we discover history? No, We should really thank the passion of the Aboitis clan for preserving our history. Actually, one point Anna, is the Aboitis were actually very good friends with the Gorodo. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, oh. Mga ang ilan na mga itong una pagod nga mga uh, great great grand ano, perhaps they are all related as well. No? Yeah. Okay, John. So this one over here, we're going to the Taas. Okay. So this is a very step staircase. Oh. There's a belief that Chinese believe that it's Oro Plata Mata. Oro, Oro Plata Mata. So how many steps ni siya dyan? 13. 13. So it ends Oro. Yes, it's ready okay. to be ended in the third Oro. Okay. And this one over here is the Kaida. As you can see, oh. the Kaida is for the women. Oh. Uh, because back then, the women used, ha used to have like long skirts. Oh. When they come up here, they would let it fall. That's why it's called the Kaida. Okay. Kaida. Yes. Okay. Continue. And then this one over here is the formal sala. Uh oh. The formal sala is where all the transactions, business transactions happen. Okay. And the one who has here is the Isidro Gorordo. Which is. Kisan isya Jan? Who is in the portrait? Isidro Gorordo. Oh, who is he? Ang uh, katong... He's the forefather. Ah, the four. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, the... He's the one who will do the business for you. Okay. The, and all the business transactions, perhaps politics. Yeah. Did he know? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What else? And this one over here is the bishop's room. Formerly, it was the master's bedroom when Isidro Gordo stayed here. Okay. But later on, when he, went, when he got old, he went back to Barili. And then one bishop, Bishop Gordo actually replaced him here. So again, again. Uh, Balika na to. First, it was another bishop. Anag stayed there. He's the bishop. Ah, ah, this is, uh, okay, mga kalakot sir, this is Bishop Gordo. No, and this is his bedroom. Yes, bedroom ini ya. Yeah. You were saying you were mentioning ani bal ni balik dey sa Barili. Oh, ang um, si Sir Gorardo went uh but katung tigong nasya ni balik sa Barili. Okay, so this is his room, very spacious, no? Yeah, very big. <laughs> you could just imagine before na wala pa ni mga building, mga kalakwat sera. This is this is this could be the big, the grandest house during that time in the 18th century this is beautifully preserved ang ganda napakaganda and look at the antiquity ito nila, why why explain nga ni mo dyan ang taas na siya this why elongated a birthing chair birthing chair D dito nanganganak no yes. kasi ito unang wala pa may hospital kumadrona lang tingali no dyan no they, uh, they come to the house they, this is where the, the lady give birth That's correct. okay room is the couple's room Ka. and the couple's room was very uh, famous Ka. because the last couple who stayed here was actually the mother and father of the former owner of the house uh this were uh, this was the couple's room and the last uh occupant of this room was the owner of the house before uh, can you can you uh, this baby over here is the former owner named is josefa gorordo revilla josefa gorordo revilla Okay. Villiers. Ah, Villiers, Villiers. 
And then this is over here, Margarito Rivillas. Okay. And then this is Sarsara Gorordo. Okay. And this is where they live. And uh, this is actually the baby crib of Mam Pipit or Sefa Gorordo Rivillas. Uh, it Mau gapo na siya ang original na crib. Oh, okay, buhatan na lang siya. Mura replica na lang tinga dito. This one is actually old. Okay, and also this one. Yes. You cannot own this as a parador. Okay, we have like mga kalakot sir, I have this like kind of a parador in my home. Kani siya. Wow, it's beautiful. Next one over here is the Suitor's Corner. This okay. is where all the suitors will actually come here. Oh, oh mga, ang them. mga uh, marriage proposal, yes. no? They are uh, pamanhikan kung sa Tagalog pa, dira na siya. There is a, that area, yung mga mandiligaw. Okay. And also outside is actually Naharana. So, oh, Naharana. Oh, kasi it's a tradition sa mga anak, lumang mga Pilipino noon na hinaharana talaga yung mga dilag natin. <laughs> and this one? Ah, oh, the chapel. chapel. Okay, okay. Yeah, chapel is actually the rarest here in Cebu because only the Gordos have this. Ah, mm -hmm. because other residences don't have the chapel. That's correct. Oh, of the course, oh, it will be the bishop. Oh. Here. Okay. Okay. This one over here is the spinster's room. Ah, uh, okay. Spinster, kanang wala hindi na, wala na minyo. Yes, o right. hindi walang walang asawa. Yes. This is the spinster room. Spencer last time we got here was the respondent or all the she was good with oh sewing oh yeah sewing machine pa oh mga kids okay so this is where they actually happen okay she died actually in 1972 so that's the tub <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's the 1920s recreation. Oh, this is a recreation of the 1920s na toilet nila. Oh, yung ano, Arinola, ganun pa rin yun. I saw this uh, sa Jesuit, I saw this sa uh, Deca San Diego, yeah, yung ganun pa rin. Yung iba na lang, ano na, kasi wear and tear eh. Or ano na lang siya, uh, replica na lang to. But at least the imagination is still there. Okay. Oh. Area. Oh, this is where mga marites, mga marites. Dito mga marites ang mga gossip area natin. Oh, what's going on sa mga life, life ng mga panahon ng mga the prominent people yes. in Cebu. And this is the library. Library, study area. Study area. This is where all their they keep their books. Oh, oh. Books. yung mga libro. Dagan, marami to noon eh. There yes. were lots of books before. But we have to retain most of them because Preserve. Yes, preserve. Oh. Oh, ito ma. Look at the typewriter. Yeah. It, siguro na typewriter na yung daming story na nagawa or uh, ang daming mga production, uh, production of thoughts na nagawa ang typewriter na yan. This is the dining area. Dining area. Uh, dining area is to show off their fine dining. Yes. Yeah, so, at saka yung mga utensils nila, the fine china wares, only the rich can afford during that time. At saka, it's always a feast noon. Kasi sagrado ang linggo sa mga Pilipino noon. Sagrado sa kanilang... At saka, 6 o'clock after rosary, sabay-sabay silang kumakain as a family. Kaya, I, I surmise, the Garoders are big family. Kaya, napakalawak ng kanilang dining area. This is extremely beautiful. Yun talagang makikita natin ang tradisyon ng mga prominenteng pamilya noon kung paano sila nabubuhay dito sa, of course, sa Cebu. Makikita natin, it is well preserved. Kitchen. Kitchen. It's the kitchen. Yes. Oh. Well, this one is the kitchen where you can see where they cook their, all their food. Okay. Uh, so you see there are a lot of plates uh, oh, on the oh. side. It's because that are all the sets that the Gordos had in their lifetime. Oo, oh, oh, yung mga collection of mga mga plates nila, uh, mga china wares to. Yes. Oo, na, nandito pa rin, no? Napakaganda. I mean, these are very expensive items now. That's true. No, kaya lang, so, hindi na to po gagamitin para kainan. Ito na lang ay i-preserve sapagkat it's part of our history. Mahasabi natin dirty kitchen to noon, but now, since it's a museum, napakalinis siya. Okay. Uh, so the azotea is where they actually do their rest and recreation. Rest, napaka, dahok kayo siya, no? It's huge, no? Ang azotea niya. This is where they do their laundry. 
They're sleeping. Oh, again, again. In Azotea, th this is where they do their laundry. Their sleeping what? area. And hanging of clothes, perhaps. Yes. No? And also, the abacas spinning. The oh, the abacas spinning. Nakita nyo kalakot sila sa ground floor kanina. May mga abaka. They do it here. Kaya it explains why it is so huge. At siyempre, yung garden na yun. That's the huge garden. Mauna yun na siyang garden to una doon. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Kani, kani, oh. Kani mga roots na ni Bi, it's, I think, century na to. Yes, it's actually bridal bouquet, century. Oh, uh, anong pangalan na ano? Bridal bouquet. Bridal bouquet. Napakalawak ng azotea nila. Doon mo, that is the distinction between the rich, the old rich, and the new rich. Uh, during the time, makikita sa dining area at saka sa azotea. They are, they are cat categorized as the old rich. Yes. Ito, ang mga gorordo. By uh, the azotea alone, huh? My, and look at the hanging plants. Oh, these are century old bridal, ano tawag nung? Okay. Bridal bouquet. And of course, yung sprawling na garden nila. Ayan, can, can, uh, uh, ano na na siya kanang, this was built, karun na lang na, no? Hmm. This one for the souvenir items. Before, wala again na siya sa original. Wala. Wala siya. So there is also a shop, yung shop na yan. Yeah. Oo, para sa mga sovereign, souvenir items if you want to buy from Casa Gorordo. Okay.